Well, I've been working on this picture here, and in particular, over the last sort of day, the uh, area of trees here and the water. But now we're going to be working on this grass, and I want to show you how you can do that and how you can do it in a way that makes it look real, but without a huge amount of effort. That's what we're going to be working on right now. So this area here is completely dry. This has just been blocked in. So I've literally just gone over that. In, in this case, this is acrylic. Um, the rest of it I've been working on is oil. And I'm gonna use oil now to go over this, but this is just an acrylic base ready, just to, you know, it's just given us that decent surface now to actually start painting the details on. Um, so that's completely dry. That has to be dry for us to move on to this next stage. And so for the next stage, I'm gonna be adding some of the darker little elements in here. And I'm gonna be using the Series 6 size zero for that. That's available from my website. Link is in the description below. So using that just to get some of these little accents of color in. So I'm not going over the whole thing with a block color here. I'm just adding some of these darker colors where I think they need to be. Some of this blocking is going to obviously show through the work it's it's a, an important part it's an important process that blocking of painting in this style so we don't need to cover it up we want to use that Okay, so that's me adding just some of those darker elements. Now what we need to do is add some of the lights over the top. So starting from the back and then working our way forwards, going to use the rigger brush. This is the Series 1 size 0 for this, just to get these finer details in. And I'm going to start with more of a... In fact, I might just add a few more little darker bits with the rigger brush before we then go over to the highlights. I'm going to work with the same colour that I was, just the colours, sorry, the, the low lights just need to be a little bit more defined by just using that tip of that brush to get some of these little little bits in place here. We don't need to do too much. And then over to the lighter colour. Okay, so let's see what we can do here then. Now often with grass you think that it needs to be lots of little blades, especially when you're sort of nearer the foreground, but actually it's not really the case. Often it's just lots of dots. <laughs> As is so often the case when you have foliage like this, it's not always one colour. 
So, as you can see in the reference photograph, we have loads and loads of very sort of yellow light areas. I'm going to put those in now. Same technique, same brush, just different colour. So now we've got that main body in place, what we're going to do is start adding just a few extra little colours. Same technique, same brush. This is the Series 1, size 1. Just using a fair amount of linseed oil and just to get a little bit of extra flow and detail. And just using the tip of that brush, as we did with the grass, just to add a few little flecks of colour. <laughs>
Alrighty, so we're almost finished with that. All I'm going to do now is just put in a few more little highlighted areas. I'm going to use the Series 4 size 1, the fan brush for that. This is an absolute perfect brush for this sort of thing. And all we are going to do is, without the use of any thinner, I'm just going to use that bristle of the brush just to add some more highlights. So this hasn't been thinned or it doesn't have any medium with it. So there we go, we now have that painting finished, but there is just one last thing to do.